Welcome to the Scripture Guide Quiz. Buckle up, friends, because today we're not just strolling through the New Testament. We're about to go on a roller coaster ride of biblical proportions. Ever wonder who the unsung heroes of the Bible are? Or maybe you're ready to dive into some epic, lesser known tales? Well, prepare to have your Bible knowledge tested, your curiosity piqued, and your mind blown. In the most heavenly way possible, of course. But wait, before we start this joyful journey, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Trust me, you'll want to be a part of this fun-filled scripture sleuthing community as we continue spreading the timeless joy, wisdom, and occasional plot twist from God's word. So, are you ready to see if you can outsmart these ancient legends and crack the mysteries hidden within? Let's jump in and uncover the secrets together. Let the adventure begin. Question one. I am the tax collector who climbed a tree to see Jesus and my life changed forever. Who am I? A. Matthew B. Zacchaeus C. Nicodemus D. Simon You get 10 seconds. That's B. Zacchaeus in Luke chapter 19, verse 1 through 10, Zacchaeus, a tax collector, climbed a sycamore tree to catch a glimpse of Jesus. His encounter with Jesus led to a complete transformation as Zacchaeus repented and vowed to give half his wealth to the poor. Question two, I deny Jesus three times before the rooster crowed. Who am I? A, James, B, John, C, Peter, D, Thomas. You get 10 seconds. That's C, Peter. In Luke chapter 22, verse 54 through 62, Peter, one of Jesus' closest disciples, denied knowing him three times before the rooster crowed, fulfilling Jesus' prediction of Peter's denial. Question three. I am known as the doubting disciple because I questioned Jesus' resurrection until I saw him for myself. Who am I? A, Andrew. B, Thomas. C, Bartholomew. D. Philip, you get 10 seconds. That's B. Thomas. In John chapter 20, verse 24 through 29, Thomas, one of the 12 disciples, doubted the resurrection of Jesus until he saw and touched Jesus' wounds. His doubt turned into faith when he finally exclaimed, my Lord and my God. Question four. I am the man who helped Jesus carry his cross on the way to the crucifixion. Who am I? A. Joseph of Arimathea. B. Simon of Cyrene. C. Nicodemus. D. Barabbas. You get 10 seconds. That's B, Simon of Cyrene. In Luke chapter 23, verse 26, Simon of Cyrene was compelled by Roman soldiers to help Jesus carry his cross on the road to Golgotha, symbolizing sharing in Christ's suffering. Question five. I sold a piece of land and lied about the price, causing me and my wife to fall dead. Who am I? A, Ananias. B, Caiaphas. C, Barnabas. D, Silas. You get 10 seconds. That's A, Ananias. In Acts chapter 5, verse 1 through 11, Ananias and his wife Sapphira lied to the apostles about the amount of money they received from selling land, and they were struck dead as a result of their deception. Question 6. I was the first Christian martyr, stoned to death for my faith. Who am I? A. James. B. Stephen. C. Peter. D. Andrew. You get 10 seconds. That's B. Stephen. 
In Acts chapter 7, verse 54 to 60, Stephen, full of faith in the Holy Spirit, became the first Christian martyr when he was stoned to death by an angry mob while he prayed for their forgiveness. Question 7. I traveled with Paul on his missionary journeys and was imprisoned with him. Who am I? A. Silas B. Barnabas C. Timothy D. Luke You get 10 seconds. That's A. Silas in Acts chapter 16, verse 25 through 34, Silas accompanied Paul on his missionary journeys, and the two were imprisoned in Philippi. Despite their imprisonment, they sang hymns, and God caused an earthquake that led to their release. Question 8. I am the ruler who ordered John the Baptist to be beheaded. Who am I? A. Herod Antipas. B. Pilate. C. Caesar Augustus. D. Felix. You get 10 seconds. That's A, Herod Antipas. In Mark chapter 6, verse 14 through 29, Herod Antipas, influenced by his wife Herodias and her daughter's request, ordered the beheading of John the Baptist, although he was distressed by the decision. Question 9, I was the brother of Mary and Martha, who was raised from the dead by Jesus. Who am I? A, Lazarus. B, Joseph. C, Simeon. D, Jairus. You get 10 seconds. That's A. Lazarus. In John 11, 1 to 44, Lazarus, the brother of Mary and Martha, was raised from the dead by Jesus, displaying Christ's power over death and foreshadowing his own resurrection. Question 10. I was the jailer who asked Paul and Silas, what must I do to be saved? After an earthquake freed them from prison. Who am I? A. Cornelius. B. Felix. C. The Philippian Jailer D. Agrippa You get 10 seconds. That's C. The Philippian Jailer In Acts chapter 16 verse 25 through 34, after a miraculous earthquake opened the prison doors, the Philippian jailer, fearing the prisoners had escaped, asked Paul and Silas what he must do to be saved. He and his entire household were baptized that very night. Question 11. I was struck blind on the road to Damascus before my conversion to Christianity. Who am I? A. Paul B. Peter C. Philip D. Barnabas You get 10 seconds. That's A. Paul. In Acts chapter 9, verse 1 through 9, Saul, later known as Paul, was blinded by a great light on the road to Damascus during his mission to persecute Christians. This encounter with Jesus led to his conversion and transformation into one of the greatest apostles. Question 12. I gave a stirring speech at Pentecost, leading to the baptism of 3,000 people. Who am I? A. Stephen B. Peter C. John D. Philip You get 10 seconds. That's B. Peter In Acts chapter 2 verse 14 through 41, Peter gave a powerful sermon on the day of Pentecost, explaining the fulfillment of prophecy and the resurrection of Jesus, which resulted in 3,000 people accepting the message and being baptized. Question 13. I am the centurion who had great faith, and Jesus healed my servant. Who am I? A. Cornelius. B. Julius. C. Theophilus. D. Claudius. You get 10 seconds.
that's A, Cornelius. In Matthew 8, 5 to 13, and Luke 7, 1 to 10, Cornelius, a Roman centurion, displayed great faith in Jesus by asking him to heal his servant from a distance, believing that Jesus only needed to say the word for the servant to be healed. Question 14, I wrote one of the gospels and was known as a physician. Who am I? A, Matthew, B, Luke, C, Mark, D, John. You get 10 seconds. That's B, Luke. Luke, a companion of Paul and a physician, wrote both the Gospel of Luke and the Book of Acts, carefully documenting the life of Jesus and the early church with great detail. Question 15. I am the disciple who betrayed Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. Who am I? A. Peter. B. Judas. C. Andrew. D. James. You get 10 seconds. That's B. Judas. In Matthew chapter 26, verse 14 through 16, Judas Iscariot, one of Jesus' twelve disciples, betrayed him to the religious authorities for thirty pieces of silver, leading to Jesus' arrest and crucifixion. Question 16. I was a rich man who buried Jesus in my own tomb. Who am I? A. Nicodemus. B. Joseph of Arimathea. C. Caiaphas. D. Simeon. You get ten seconds. That's B, Joseph of Arimathea. In Matthew chapter chapter 27, verse 57 through 60, Joseph of Arimathea, a wealthy disciple of Jesus, boldly requested Jesus' body from Pilate and laid it in his own tomb after the crucifixion. Question 17. I was known for my strong faith and good deeds, but I fell ill and died before Peter raised me back to life. Who am I? A, Lydia. B, Tabitha Dorcas. C. Priscilla. D. Eunice. You get 10 seconds. That's B. Tabitha Dorcas. In Acts 9.36-42, Tabitha, also called Dorcas, was a disciple known for her charity and kindness. After she died, Peter prayed over her, and God raised her back to life. Question 18. I baptized the Ethiopian eunuch after explaining the scriptures to him. Who am I? A. Paul. B. Peter. C. Philip. D. Barnabas. You get 10 seconds. That's C. Philip. In Acts chapter 8, verse 26 through 40, Philip the Evangelist encountered an Ethiopian eunuch reading Isaiah. After explaining the passage, Philip baptized him, and the eunuch went on his way, rejoicing. Question 19. I am the apostle who was exiled to the island of Patmos, where I wrote the book of Revelation. Who am I? A. John. B. Peter. C. Paul. D. James, you get 10 seconds. That's A, John. In Revelation chapter 1 verse 9, the Apostle John was exiled to the island of Patmos where he received visions from Jesus and wrote the book of Revelation describing events of the end times. Question 20. I am the man who took care of the wounded traveler in the parable of the Good Samaritan. Who am I? A. The priest. B. The Levite. C. The innkeeper. D. The Samaritan. You get 10 seconds. That's D. The Samaritan. In Luke chapter 10 verse 25 through 37, 
the Good Samaritan took care of a man who was beaten by robbers. While a priest and a Levite passed by, the Samaritan showed compassion and helped the injured man, embodying the command to love one's neighbor. Question 21. I am the man who fell asleep during Paul's long sermon and fell out of a window. Who am I? A. Tychicus B. Eutychus C. Apollos D. Epaphroditus You get 10 seconds. Answer. That's B. Eutychus in Acts chapter 20, verse 7 through 12, Eutychus fell asleep during Paul's lengthy sermon and fell from a third-story window. Paul miraculously revived him, continuing the message afterward. Question 22. I am the king who imprisoned Peter and planned to execute him, but an angel freed him. Who am I? A. Herod Agrippa B. Herod Antipas C. Pilate D. Felix, you get 10 seconds. That's A. Herod Agrippa. In Acts chapter 12, verse 1 through 11, King Herod Agrippa imprisoned Peter during Passover with the intention of killing him. However, an angel of the Lord rescued Peter from prison the night before his execution. Question 23. I am the woman who hosted a house church in Philippi after being baptized by Paul. Who am I? A. Phoebe. B. Lydia. C. Priscilla. D. Chloe. You get 10 seconds. Answer. That's B. Lydia. In Acts chapter 16, verse 14 through 15, Lydia, a seller of purple cloth in Philippi, became one of the first converts in Europe after hearing Paul's message. She invited Paul and his companions to stay at her house, where she likely hosted a house church. Question 24. I am the man who opposed Paul and was temporarily blinded by Paul's curse. Who am I? A. Bar Jesus. Elimus. B. Alexander the coppersmith. C. Demetrius. D. Simon the Magician. You get 10 seconds. That's A. Bar Jesus. Elimus. In Acts chapter 13, verse 6 through 12, Elimus, a magician also called Bar Jesus, tried to oppose Paul and Barnabas as they preached to the Roman proconsul Sergius Paulus. Paul cursed him, and he was struck with temporary blindness as a result. Question 25. I was the disciple chosen to replace Judas Iscariot after his betrayal of Jesus. Who am I? A. Joseph Barsabbas. B. Barnabas. C. Matthias. D. Philip. You get 10 seconds. That's C. Matthias. In Acts chapter 1, verse 23 through 26, after Judas Iscariot's death, the disciples cast lots to choose a replacement, and Matthias was selected to become one of the twelve apostles. Question 26. I am the Jewish teacher of the law who advised the Sanhedrin to leave the apostles alone, saying, If this plan or this undertaking is of man, it will fail. Who am I? A. Nicodemus. B. Gamaliel. C. Caiaphas. D. Ananias. You get 10 seconds. That's B. Gamaliel. In Acts chapter 5, verse 34 through 39, Gamaliel, a respected Pharisee and teacher of the law, urged the Sanhedrin to leave the apostles alone, warning that if their movement was from God, it couldn't be stopped. Question 27. I am the man who wrote the majority of the New Testament letters. Who am I? A. Peter B. Paul C. John D. James. You get 10 seconds.
that's B, Paul. Paul wrote 13 epistles, letters, that make up a large portion of the New Testament, offering instruction, encouragement, and theological insights to early Christian communities. Question 28. I am the man who took Mark on a missionary journey after Paul refused to take him. Who am I? A. Silas B. Barnabas C. Timothy D. Titus You get 10 seconds. That's B. Barnabas In Acts chapter 15 verse 36 through 40, Paul and Barnabas disagreed over taking Mark on their next journey. Barnabas took Mark with him, while Paul chose Silas as his traveling companion. Question 29. I am the servant of the high priest whose ear was cut off by Peter in the Garden of Gethsemane. Who am I? A. Malchus. B. Barabbas. C. Alexander. D. Sosthenes. You get 10 seconds. That's A. Malchus. In John chapter 18 verse 10, Peter, in an attempt to defend Jesus during his arrest, cut off the ear of Malchus, the servant of the high priest. Jesus then healed Malchus's ear. Question 30. I am the author of the book of Revelation and I described a vision of a throne surrounded by four living creatures. Who am I? A. Paul. B. Peter. C. John. D. James. You get 10 seconds. That's C. John. In Revelation chapter 4 verse 6 through 8, the Apostle John described a vision of God's throne surrounded by four living creatures, symbolizing the omniscience and authority of God. Question 31. I am the city where Paul confronted Peter over his hypocrisy regarding the Gentiles. Which city am I? A. Jerusalem. B. Antioch. C. Corinth. D. Ephesus. You get 10 seconds. That's B. Antioch. In Galatians chapter 2 verse 11 through 14, Paul confronted Peter in Antioch because Peter, out of fear of the circumcision group, stopped eating with Gentile believers, causing division. Paul rebuked him for this inconsistency. Question 32. I am the letter in which Paul tells the church to expel a man for having a relationship with his father's wife. Which letter am I? A. 1 Corinthians B. 2 Corinthians C, Galatians D, Romans, you get 10 seconds. That's A, 1 Corinthians. In 1 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 1 through 5, Paul addresses a case of sexual immorality in the Corinthian church where a man was having a relationship with his stepmother and Paul instructed the church to expel him to maintain purity. Question 33. I am the number of fish the disciples caught when the risen Jesus appeared to them at the Sea of Galilee. How many fish did they catch? A. 100 B. 153 C. 200 D. 144 You get 10 seconds. That's B. 153 In John chapter 21 verse 11, after Jesus appeared to his disciples post-resurrection and instructed them to cast their nets, they caught 153 fish, which was seen as a miraculous catch. Question 34. I am the person who took Paul's letter to the Roman church. Who am I? A. Phoebe B. Priscilla. C. Timothy D. Titus. You get 10 seconds.
that's a Phoebe. In Romans chapter 16, verse 1 through 2, Paul commends Phoebe, a deaconess of the church in century, to the Roman Christians, implying that she carried Paul's letter to Rome. Question 35. I am the man Paul asked to bring him his cloak and scrolls while he was imprisoned in Rome. Who am I? A. Luke. B. Timothy. C. Mark. D. Damas. You get 10 seconds. That's B. Timothy. In 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 13, Paul, imprisoned in Rome, asked Timothy to bring him his cloak, as well as the scrolls and parchments, indicating his desire for comfort and study during his final imprisonment. And that wraps up today's scripture guide quiz. How did you do? Whether you aced every question or learned something new along the way, we hope this quiz deepened your understanding and appreciation of the New Testament. Remember, every time we engage with Scripture, we're not just testing our memory, we're drawing closer to the wisdom and truth that God offers through His Word. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the challenge. We'd love to hear how you did, so be sure to leave a comment below and share your score or favorite moment from the quiz. And of course, stay tuned for more quizzes, studies and adventures through the Bible. Until next time, may you continue to grow in faith, knowledge, and the joy that comes from walking with Christ. See you in the next quiz.